Hi guys, and it is time for my October favorites. I feel like just yesterday I was filming my September favorites. But anyway, let's get into it. First, I have some blushes, and these are the Makeup Geek blushes. I have been obsessed with them. Well, I'll, this is kind of a favorite as well, so I'll just put it in, 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 in two favorites into one thing. Does that make sense? So, I got a large duo pro palette from MAC, and this is what I'm going to keep my blushes in. So I've already got my Makeup Geek blushes in here and these, I've been wearing these all this month ever since I got them. So the ones that I've been loving the most have been this one here which is Bliss. Bliss is what I'm wearing today. It's just a really nice soft peach colour. It's matte. Uh, this one here as well. This one is Romance. It's kind of like a orangey version of NARS Orgasm really pretty. This one here is Spellbound. Oh, it is gorgeous. It's like a dusty, pinky, rosy shade. It's also matte. And then this one down here is Honeymoon and it is a light pink with silver glitter and I just love them all. I've been wearing them constantly. I can't wait to buy more. They're so affordable and cheap and they are great quality. Also from Makeup Geek, I've been loving their pigments. So, the first one that I've been loving is Insomnia, and it's what I have on my eyes today. So, Insomnia is a beautiful duochrome. It is teal, it is brown, it is stunning, and I just absolutely love it. I'm, I'm not going to open it because it's just going to explode everywhere, basically. <laughs> but I really love it. There's just one little problem I have with it. It can come off a little bit patchy on your eyes, I've found. Um... I'm not quite sure what to do to remedy that problem. Uh, I'm still experimenting, but the color is just stunning that I am willing to work with it. The other one that I got is Afterglow. Now, I have no problems whatsoever with Afterglow. Afterglow is a beautiful light beige shade. It is so reflective and metallic, and you only need one swipe and you're done, and oh, it's just so stunning. Oh. Honestly, I'm going to end up buying them all, to be honest. <laughs> They're just so, so pretty. My other makeup favorite is what I'm wearing on my lips today. And this is the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Melted Fig. Oh, this is so pretty, this shade. This is perfect for autumn and fall and winter. It's just stunning. We can't get these shades out here in Australia yet. The autumn edition that Too Faced brought out with the melted lipsticks. So we, can, we can't buy them here in Australia yet. But I assume we will get them in a few months. The reason why I have it is because I recently got my friend to buy some makeup for me over in the States. And um, yeah, she got this for me, which I was so thrilled she was able to get it, get it for me. Because it was a last minute edition. Um, but she managed to get it, which I am incredibly thankful for because it is so pretty. The lipstick itself is a long wearing lipstick so it's a little bit drying and as you know I really hate drying lipsticks um, but I just pop some lip balm underneath and I'm really good to go and it, it does stay in your lips and it lasts a very long time and I just love it and they smell really good too. They smell like like lollies. They smell really really sweet. I love it. Moving on to skincare, you guys know how much I love my Body Shop Body Butter in Moringa, but I was putting it on one day and I was like, oh, I feel like trying something different, you know, because I've been getting that same scent for so long now. And uh, Mum and I were in the Body Shop the other day trying out the Body Butters because we both love them and needed to buy a new one. And she said, have a try of this one. And I was a bit hesitant because it's called Honey Mania and I really don't like honey. I'm probably the only person in the world who doesn't like honey. I don't like the smell, I don't like the taste. I just, I love the thought of honey, but I don't like it. <laughs> um, and so I was like, oh, I'm not going to like this at all. But I love it. <sighs> it smells so good. It smells nothing like honey. I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. It's, it smells nothing like honey. To me, it smells very frolic. Frol. 
that's a word <laughs> to me it smells very floral and spring and just beautiful like a bunch of flowers um I'm not quite sure why it's called honey mania that's kind of stumping me at the moment um but give this one a try if you're looking for a new body butter because I haven't seen it. I think it might be new. I haven't seen it before uh, and it smells really nice. Now this is a body wash I probably should have included in last month. I say this every month, I swear. <laughs> um, but I forgot. And so this is the Lux Magical Spell Body Wash and oh my stars. This smells so, so good. So it says on the bottle... Um, Black Orchid and Juniper Oil Scent. Oh, it smells so pretty. It lathers really nice. The smell lingers after you uh, get out of the shower and dry yourself off. It's really, really nice. And quite frequently, it's on sale for $4.95. So it's a, uh, it's a good price for 400 mils. For perfume, you guys know I am a massive perfume lover. Some people love buying handbags, some people love buying shoes. I love buying perfume, except I didn't buy this one. <laughs> this one Tim got for me. Um, he recently came back from a trip uh, to Adelaide with his buddy and they just went on this epic men adventure, like men versus wild adventure, not even kidding you, that is the type of guys they are. <laughs> And uh, he was at the airport in the duty-free section and he knows I love perfume so much and uh, so he bought me a bottle of perfume. And this one is, uh, he told me it's the latest Dolce & Gabbana perfume called Dolce and oh, mm, oh, it, just, it smells so beautiful. It's just a really gorgeous bottle with a little black bow and a rose for a lid. It's just stunning. I'll just read out loud um, what is actually in it. Jasmine, which is one of my favorite scents in perfume. There's papaya, white lily, another favorite of mine, uh, white daffodil, white amaryllis, musk, cashmere, and light woods. And I love woody perfumes as well as floral. So basically it's got all the scents that I love and it just, it smells so divine and I, I just can't spread, I can't stop. I can't stop spraying it on myself and Tim's nose is very sensitive to scents so I know if he likes a scent that means it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Ugh, I just inhaled it. That doesn't taste good. <laughs> My last favourite is a pair of shorts that I got at Cotton On. So they're just your basic denim shorts. Um, with a little roll up at the bottom and what I love about this um, rolled up part is that it is sewed so that it won't come down because I have another pair of shorts which uh, rolls up at the bottom and they're not sewed so they're constantly falling down and it's really annoying because I want them rolled up and I'm, I'm so happy that these are sewed but they're just really comfortable shorts it's a great color for summer because it's summer here at the moment, or spring going into summer here, and um, it's perfect with a tan and some white tennis shoes, I just, I love that, and a, and a white t-shirt, that is like my, my look, my go-to look for summer, um, but these are super comfortable, they're not too short, they're not too long, uh, they're just perfect, pretty much perfect, really comfy. And that is it for my October favourites. Didn't have too many, but the ones that I do have, I have been loving. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video, and I will catch you very soon in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.